Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to construct a desert building. This is a relatively simple, straightforward project, um, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's go to the crafting table to see how it's done. Okay, to begin with, we are using half-inch XPS foam, and we're just measuring out some basic lines to construct the body of the building. I made this three inches high so that it would be a relatively low building, but it would still accommodate miniatures on the inside. Cutting out each of the trunks of the XPS and starting to construct the basic shape of the building. I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see where I wanted things to be and marking things and cutting them out that way as well. Next, we're gonna be making the roof section of the building and trying to trace out the outline of those already cut out sections. So just cutting out the basic rectangle of it and then lining up the pieces to see where everything would be fitting and just marking it again, eyeballing it and then measuring from there. Trying to make sure that all of the pieces um, will fit on the outside of the roof section without having any gaps between the pieces. Doing a lot of dry fitting to make sure everything works. I'm using some chain to texture all of the exterior pieces, just really roughing up the, the exterior, pounding and, and kind of flailing the styrofoam with the chain. I'm doing both the, the outside and a little bit of the inside just because it'll be showing on the roof section. Now I'm using some chipboard to trace out a template for the windows that I'll be tracing all around the outside of the building. Just cutting it out with the scissors and then using a marker to measure up a half inch from the ground and trace on the template onto the styrofoam. Now I'm using a thin Olfa knife to slice in behind the windows, cutting out a rectangle and then popping that piece free uh, this will be um, where the window screen will be attached later on. I'm just using an X-Acto knife to cut out the windows. And then I'm using the X-Acto knife to cut in some relief sections of where the, the stucco would have fallen away from the brickwork or stonework. Using the X-Acto to cut in the stonework and then using a ballpoint pen to um, increase the texture of each of those sections. Going around and adding that detail to all of the different uh, exterior parts. I also added some cracks and also the arches over the windows and the door uh, with just a ballpoint pen. Tracing out the door pattern and using an X-Acto knife to cut that out as well. I'm using a knife instead of a hot wire cutter because it gives you a closer cut and is easier to glue back into place, which is what I plan to do with these chunks. Using a ballpoint pen to texture the wood texture to the door, and then just taking a, a little bit of the scrap and making the cross sections. Using tacky glue to glue that into place. I'm setting up the guide to just take a sliver off of the roof section. This will be used as the floor for the interior. I'm hot gluing all of the components together. Started with one corner and then hot glued the roof into place and then started working my way around the rest of the piece, making sure that I didn't glue something into place which would require me to glue kind of an interior section. So I'm kind of gluing it where it made logical sense to stack it without kind of gluing myself into a corner. Then I'm just hot gluing that door into place as well. This is a about a two inch styrofoam ball or two and a half inch styrofoam ball. I just cut that in half with the hot wire cutter as well. I'm using some spackle to fill in the cracks along the outside, just so that the, the joints aren't nearly as noticeable. I'm using that on the roof as well, so it, it looks like it would be kind of waterproofed. 
gluing that styrofoam half ball onto the roof and joining that to the roof as well. This would simulate a dome on the building. I'm using a bandsaw to cut out some um, eighth inch masonite and sanding the edges down into a bevel. I'm spraying this with a textured spray paint to give it kind of a sand texture look. I'm using that little sliver of the roof section and texturing it with one of the Green Stuff World roller pins. Using some hot glue, I'm just going to attach that down to that masonite board. You notice that I painted the edge of the floor already just so I wouldn't have to get down close to the edge um, when I'm painting it black later on. Now I'm coating the floor section with black Mod Podge, just covering it all. This will give it a nice hard coat and coating the entire building in the same black Mod Podge as well. I put it up on styrofoam blocks to let it dry, especially the interior of it. Now onto the painting, I'm giving it a dark brown base coat, followed by a lighter tan. And I'm doing this all without washing out the brush, just kind of going from one paint to the next and scraping off as much of it between coats as, as possible. Ending up with a light tan um, to give it the last kind of stucco look to it. I'm coming back in and touching up all of the, the brickwork with some different shades of tans, uh, kind of a richer golden tan, um, a medium tan, and a lighter tan. Just picking out each of those to give a, a little bit more variation as they stick out of the, the stucco look. I'm using a black wash to just coat the brickwork or the stonework. I didn't really want to give the whole piece of black wash on this one. I like the kind of dusty feel of the stucco. Now I'm using black granny grating and filling out those blocks for the windows. This will give it kind of a window pane look from the outside. And I'm painting up the base as well. I'm using kind of a red and tan mixture and kind of wet uh, mixing right on the palette. So I end up with a, a variety of different colors in the dry brush. And I wanted a little bit of separation for rooms inside the building, so I decided to use just a little block of styrofoam to make a chunk of wall with a, a door in it as well. Now I'm using a hot wire cutter to cut out that door. I'm also slicing it a little bit thinner as I didn't want a full half inch wall on the interior. using a pen to just do some texture on the door as well as the stonework around the door. Coated it with the black Mod Podge, put a little brown paint on the door and some tan on the brickwork and a lighter tan on the, the walls as well. I'm leaving the black around the door um, to simulate kind of a separation where the wall would actually be. Gluing that into place and then putting the building over the top of it. This is the final product. This is a relatively simple build, um, pretty straightforward measuring and cutting. And the chain work really makes the texture pop as well as the exposed stonework um, ends up being a very nice looking piece on the tabletop. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please hit the subscribe button and the like button down below. And while you're at it, you can check out some of the other videos that I have on the Stellarian Games channel. Thank you and hope to see you again next time.